guys, welcome to my channel and welcome back if you're returning. So in an effort to learn more about food and cooking, I think there is a fundamental thing that needs to be learned when learning about cooking and that's cooking methods. So I wanted to do some hefty research with my old books that I have from school. One is called the Deluxe Food Lover's Companion and the other is On Food and Cooking. Both of these are honestly two of my favorite books that I have. I used both of these books to find all the information I'll be sharing today plus a little research online but nothing too in-depth online mostly through my good old book buddies. So the cooking methods I actually want to discuss today is baking and broiling. These are two simple little buttons on your oven that the majority of ovens have, but sometimes we're kind of not using those buttons in the right way that we should be, although they seem pretty easy and self-explanatory. So I want to go over what baking means and broiling and what is best to use when. Let's cover basics first. Okay, let's set up a little scenario. You get in your kitchen, it's quarantine, you're bored, you're making what? Yeah, you're making banana bread <laughs> for the hundredth time and you're a pro at it. And what's the setting that you need for your banana bread? The first instruction that you found on that Pinterest recipe is preheat oven to 350 on bake. Am I wrong? Okay, but what does that mean? Why bake? So baking, when you turn on your oven, and it, the reason that it has to preheat is because the heat is coming from the top and the bottom of your oven. It will surround your food that you're cooking in heat, and this will heat it from the outside in. Moving on to broiling. Broiling is slightly different than baking, and I think the best way that I have found to explain broiling is think of a grill and how a grill, the heat is all on the bottom, you got your charcoal or whatever, your gas coming from the bottom, you're putting your steaks, you're putting your corn, you're putting whatever you're putting on the grill. Take your grill and flip it upside down. That's broiling. <laughs> so broiling is the heat is coming from above the oven. So great, Sam, what does any of this mean? Why does this matter? I'm getting to it. Slow your roll, don't worry, I got you. Let's talk about the best ways to use both of these options on your oven. So baking is typically used and intended for using to cook food that doesn't have a solid structure. Think of batters, doughs, your banana bread. So when thinking about baking and how the heat goes from the outside in, let's think about a cake as our example. Think of your cake mold and it's full of batter and you put it in and it starts to rise and you see a crust and every time you look at a recipe, more often than not, it will tell you to have a toothpick or a fork and put it in that baby, take it out until it's clean. That is to ensure that the inside is baked, of course. But why would I need to do that? Well, that's because the outside is gonna start to cook while the inside could still be not cooked. So that's just how, if you ever have to remember why baking is so takes so long or why you have to preheat oven, or any of these things, just think that it just takes a little longer from the heat, for that heat that's going on in the oven to reach from the outside of the pan to reach the center so it's fully cooked. So as we discussed, broiling the heat comes from above and because the heat source is on the top, this doesn't cook everything evenly. So when broiling, it's honestly best to avoid anything that's thick and heavy. So when you're broiling, this is a great way to add texture to your food. <gasps> you guys, texture is such an important factor in food that can literally take your food from here to here. And it will change the whole thing. It can be the same exact recipe, but you just broiled it at the end to add a little crisp. So I wanna give a little scenario of how to use both baking and broiling in a recipe. I love to make wings, and my favorite way of cooking my wings is in an oven. I know that sounds a little strange because people usually deep fry your wings. And if you want to actually learn how I make my wings, I have a story highlight in my Instagram under recipes and you can find it there with other recipes if you're interested. So this may sound a little weird, but I put them in the oven. 
Why do I do this? Because I'm afraid of deep frying, one. And two, it tastes really good if you know how to use your oven. The first thing I do when I cook my wings is I put them in the oven and I bake them. So this will ensure that the inside of the chicken is fully cooked, there's no pink. I will typically turn on the oven to broil while they're still in there and cook them for an additional 10 to 15 minutes and get them super crispy. I'm not kidding guys, it's so good and you wouldn't know the difference. So something as simple as that, that little change that you can do just by broiling your food can change the dish so much. So in addition to broiling, adding crispiness and a charredness, you can also melt. I also love if you just take two pieces of toast, you take your toast, open face, cheese, cheese, broil, you minute, melty cheese, melty cheese, put it together, grilled cheese sandwich. And it wasn't even grilled, it was broiled. Broiled cheese sandwich. Did you hear me? You guys are sleeping on broiling. Like, those are both two very important buttons on your oven and I encourage you to play around with them learn about them and use them because honestly then you're not getting the full use of your oven with that being said that is all i have for you guys today i hope this helped you understand a little bit more the difference between baking and broiling and maybe helps you build some courage to use broiling a little more or baking if you haven't i hope you have a lovely day